Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on Grizz TV. My name is Neil Rule here with Coach Campy after a 74-69 win over Clemson in the first round of the NIT. And Coach, you guys were down by 20 with 17 minutes to go in this basketball game. You didn't have your All-Horizon League first teamer in Jalen Hayes. He was at the hospital getting stitches. You weren't supposed to win this game. Well, I don't think we were supposed to win it whether Jalen was there or not. I mean, that, that's a... That's a team that probably should have gotten in the NSA tournament, but they had so many. They had five. They lost to North Carolina in overtime. They lost to Duke by two at Duke. Um, they had just a lot of bad luck, and that's how talented that team was, led by you know an All-American. Um, we felt that we were playing great. We were plus one. Something bad happened. We get down two or three. Then Jalen goes down. They get a run out, and then we try and make some great plays. All of a sudden. They go on a 20 to one run in the last seven minutes of the half. So halftime was not pleasant. Uh, I've not done what I did at halftime. Uh, I used to do it a lot in the old days, but not much with these kids these days. I love this team and they've, they've, this team's played its heart out all year long. So it's, there's no reason to do that. But I thought we rolled over in those last seven minutes. Wow, we're happy to be here. We had a great year. Jalen's hurt. These guys are really good. And uh, we came out of the locker room to start the second half, back focused. And, and I, I told them at the under, seven, under 16 timeout, look, if we get this down below 10 with 10 minutes to go, we're going to win this thing. And we got it to 13, and then it went from 13 to tied in no time at all. I mean, that run that we had there was just, we were brilliant defensively. We, we played with great confidence offensively. Xavier showed today what he can be. It's very difficult for him because he plays behind Jalen, and he's really too small to play the five, especially in a game like this. Um, you know, because with him at the five, we don't have that rim protector. Even though he's a shot blocker, he's not a rim protector. So Jalen was gone, and Xavier knew that nobody's coming in to replace him, and Xavier played like an all-league player tonight. He was really good. Um, I'm rambling, but I'll say this too, that Isaiah Brock, and he was probably at halftime, I was probably on Isaiah worse than any sergeant he ever saw. And uh, he was a man in the second half. He protected that rim. He had 12 rebounds. Jalen was on his way to a 20 rebound game. He had eight, you know, with eight minutes to go in the first half. And, um, and Isaiah just took over for him and was just an absolute man in the second half. And we were so good defensively in the second half. Just brilliant, brilliant. Holding them to 28%, I believe, from the floor. But what about Sharon Dorsey Walker? Coach, he had a look in his eye today of a man that just didn't want his career to come to an end. Yeah, he really did. And I, I love that kid. Everybody, that's well chronicled. I love that kid. And it couldn't happen to a better young man. And, you know, he missed a free throw. It's still 20 seconds to go. We were up six. And that's, that's not, you know, you got to get that to three possessions. And I yelled out at him, you know, Shron or something like that. And he looked over at me and he goes, I got it. And he buried it and it was, then the game was over, so. Uh, Coach, uh, you'll, you'll head upstairs here, watch the end of the Alabama-Richmond game. That's who's up next for you guys. So the process begins, another game to, to prep for. Well, one thing I said on the radio to you afterwards, and I want to, to the people watching this that were really mad at us, okay? This doesn't replace us not going to the NSA tournament. And I feel your pain, and I understand, but you have to understand that that hurt these players more than it hurt any of our fans. They were devastated because they knew they were a good enough team to go to the NSA tournament, and they knew they were good enough to win games. Tonight, they proved that. Now, it doesn't make up for it, but they proved that, and they solidified their season. They got 25 wins, a Horizon League championship, and they just went to an ACC school, a good ACC school, and got a win. So go ahead and think what you want. Put it on me all you want to put it on me. But these kids, their hearts were broken, and you better give them some props now because they fought through that. And this, was, this is one of the best two or three wins in school history. Big win over the ACC, the first for the program over the ACC. And, and Coach, I think that says it all. Congratulations on the win. Thank you.